everyone. Welcome to Jumper Man Tech. Today we're working on a large fan coil unit. This is a four pipe system where they have heating and cooling. And today we're going to be replacing this Bray valve. And that is our chilled water valve. And we're going to start this project by gaining access to our valve and cutting out this insulation. some access and now we're going to drain the pipe coming in and this valve is what feeds this the coil this is our bypass and it's open we're going to close that and we're going to close these two valves here before and after the valve close close we're going to drain remaining water in the line. Oh man, that's plugged. Let me see, sometimes I could just stick a screwdriver in there and free that up. water penetrated through the seal and it's actually this bad and that's why we're replacing this took a quick picture of the wiring these are built in and these three come from our BX so we're gonna disconnect that itself right here okay so the plan here is to drop this valve from these two couplings I'm gonna pull this whole whole valve down with the piping attached to it we're gonna bring it down and we're gonna rebuild it on top of the unit then we're gonna bring it back up put back these two couplings and we are mounted. Has two nuts and bolts. The top holds back for you, and you just pull back these nuts. Uh, recommend the socket set for this. I'm gonna start with an adjustable. Well, my guy comes with a socket set. Pull back on these rubbers, they should come loose. All right, so this is it. I'm gonna wash out these gaskets. I'm gonna loosen these knots, and we're gonna take these two pieces of pipe and let's get this thing mounted onto our new valve. All I have to do is uh, hold back on one side and pull off this nut. And there is four of them. Loosen it up. 
Just transfer it over. It's pretty simple. Definitely gonna want to wash out this seal. Super dirty. But yeah, we'll just transfer everything over. That's the idea. Pull out these bolts, set them up, push this through, lock them down. So I just connected the piping. So there's a threaded rod on each end. So we'll just get that started. through. Make sure the gasket is lined up, everything's clean. Attach your bolts and lock it down. Actually so got that in place. Just gonna snug it down. Put on your bolts and lock it down. Everything officially transferred over to our new valve. This is done. You can even see water is coming out from the top. Anyway, pulling the strainer while we're at it. Not a bad idea. If you want to clean this up over here, so there's no dirt. We have a nice seal on our gasket. Put on these gaskets. And push them back. This hanger is so close. Put on the gaskets and push them back. I'm gonna slide in our valve, tie up some rope for a little bit of support. Slide these over, put on our couplings, lock them down. See if I can do this alone real quick. So we're gonna slide this into place. Okay. Okay. So I <laughs> put this in place and I just have it a bit strapped up over here so I can work the gasket. So I got this in place. <sighs> you want this lined up straight. Better off to have somebody else, somebody holding here. This side is pretty lined up, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do what I do. So, I'm gonna lock this side down. Push back like that against the pipe while I tighten this. Not the top, just the back. <laughs> Once you go to eight inches, you got to go from there. Like six inches. Just to get started. As long as you got your gasket on, right? These couplings do a great job of straightening everything out. And tighten. Lock it down. Alright. 
That's the final tighten. I'm gonna put back the strainer. And let's open up these water valves. If everything holds, we can, we can wire it up. That's it. Everything's mounted. We have no leaks. We're going to finish the, off the job by just uh, putting the insulation around the valve. And that's about it. If anybody found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you guys next time.